total customer satisfaction and positive impressions. Start with you and your crew. At Origin. Hundreds of thousands of people move every year. Their reasons are varied. Some happy, some sad, some just because. But they all have one thing in common, the uncertainty of change. And that uncertainty is very unsettling. Picture this. You keep a nice house, fairly organized, comfortable, just the way you want it. A safe, peaceful haven for you and your family. Then it happens. Your peaceful and predictable life is about to change. You are moving. I can't stand this. Whether it's your choice or not, move day comes. And with that move day, come movers. Disaster. Now, I hate to break it to you, but not all movers have a great reputation. Not all movers look like the people who are moving. They may not even speak the same language. It's a lot to take in. And it can be both unnerving and upsetting to the person who is leaving their home. Let's face it. Even in the best situations, the unknown can be frightening. As the leader of the packing crew, you lead the first half of our team, and your job starts before you go to our customer's home. You need to carefully review the move requirements with the dispatcher to ensure you have the right cartons, supplies, and extra crating materials packed and ready to go. And you need to be sure you have enough trained packers to get the job done quickly and carefully. Make sure your crew is clean, prepared, and properly uniformed. We only get one chance to make a first impression. Planning ahead makes all the difference. <laughs> Today, we're going to look at packing day through the eyes of our customer so you can see just what it feels like to have your neat, orderly life upturned. We'll help you understand the little things, and the big ones, that you can do to make a positive impression and help our customers be a bit more comfortable during this stressful time. After all, we're the experts. You and your crew just need to demonstrate that professionalism and understanding to your customer right away to set them at ease. Believe it or not, our customers have told us that is not always the first impression we make. How you perform Origin services makes a huge impact on your customer. That is reflected in the scores for Origin services and our entire move. You only have one chance to make that all-important first impression. Show your customer right away that you respect her property by protecting it before you do your initial walkthrough. I'm so nervous. I've got so much to do. And I just hope they're careful with my stuff. This is my life. I hope they realize that. Are their hands clean? Yes. Well, that's a good start. I just hope they're careful. And I like this leader. She's in control. And the helpers look good, too. Nothing like that nightmare I had last night. I think this is going to be okay. You continue making a positive impression during your initial walkthrough. Tell your customer that you are her main contact and go-to person today. Explain the process to her. Talk about your crew's experience and their packaging areas of expertise. Be sure to seek your customer's input too. Ask before setting up your staging areas and always cover her furniture before putting anything on it. Talk about the high-value special items on the high-value inventory list. Have her tell you the proper location references to use to label boxes from each room. Explain that you need a place to keep supplies. Is it okay with her to leave empty boxes in the garage with backing supplies until they're needed? Don't just take over. It's still her house. Wow, there are a lot of questions. Oh, I'm going to miss this house. Both of my kids were born here. 
Look at all those mementos. I hope they're careful with them. Take this time to show the customer that you're also in charge of the crew. Ask first, then show the crew which bathroom to use. Look at your crew to be sure they are listening and understanding the packing plan, like what to label boxes from each room, what is getting packed and what isn't, which are the high-value items, and how you plan to handle them. Show care and respect for the customer and her home and for your crew and their understanding. You're the leader. I wondered what they did when they had to go to the bathroom. I'm glad they'll use the one by the back door. And it's good that we all walked around together. It makes me much more comfortable. I'm glad these people know what they're doing. Sure, lots of questions. But they are still checking in with me. It is my house and my stuff, after all. This day is starting out just fine. Gosh, I hope they don't pack my son's favorite teddy bear. That would be a disaster. Before you begin, talk to your customer about a do-not-move area. Designate a safe and secure spot where she can put the items they will move themselves, like a favorite teddy bear, toiletries, the stamp and coin collections, or the fine jewelry. The Stevens Home Protection Kit may be the most important part of your prep. First, it shows the customer that you respect her home and want to protect it and her belongings. And next, when you use it every time, you'll save yourself a lot of hassle with damage and claims. Just stop and think about the positive image it makes, and at about $300 per kit, it's a lot cheaper than just one claim for a gouge in the hardwood floor. These people know their stuff. This home protection kit is nice. I wish I'd had a set like that years ago. Maybe we'd have gotten more for the house if it wasn't so banged up. Oh well, those are marks of love from raising two active boys here. Be sure you've got your Stevens home protection kits and rug runners. It's impressive when you walk in and when you use them automatically as part of your routine. You will save yourself money and damage claims. For about $300, the kit pays for itself over and over. I like how they have a plan. And I'm sure they do get good at certain types of packing. They do it every day. I'm just glad I don't have to figure out how to pack Mom's china. Well, that makes me feel good. I like that my driver just called to let me know he's ready and to talk about the move details. This team really works together, like a well-oiled machine. As you look around, this may look normal, a packed day underway. But through the eyes of your customer, it looks like chaos. All control is gone. And remember, it's not just about this move. It's about her life. Lots of changes are going on. It's scary. It's exciting. It's a mess. You are the leader today. Make sure your customer is okay and check in with her often. Oh my gosh, I can't stand this. All my belongings, my life. This is crazy. How am I ever going to get this in order again? And in the new house. I hope we can afford that house. And I hope we like our new jobs. I hope we didn't make a mistake. Remember, we're in the people business. Treat each customer as a person and their move as a special event in their lives. Let's keep those people happy. Have your crew pack by room, label boxes well, and stack packed boxes out of the way to make sure the chaos looks orderly. And be sure to check in with your customer to comfort her and answer any questions. Sometimes she'll speak up, other times, you just need to know it's time to check in. Do some show and tell, like the way we mark boxes by room so it will be easier for her to unpack at the new place, and how we are careful to box the contents of each room together so she's not hunting blindly for things when she unpacks, 
or how we built a special crate just for that antique chandelier. And remind her that you're there, overseeing everything. She can come to you anytime, so be seen often. Of course, you and your team need breaks too. Your short smoke breaks, done outside, out of the customer's view, and only in the designated area, with no butts left behind, as well as bathroom and lunch breaks. For longer breaks, just tell your customer and suggest it's a good time for her to take a break too. When you have packed everything and are ready to leave, walk through again with your customer to be sure all is as planned. Have your crew do the final cleanups of empty tape dispensers, trash, and other items. And be sure to stack boxes so the homeowner can get around in the newly created maze. Ask her if she'd like anything moved out of the way for tonight. I am exhausted. They did the packing, but I'm exhausted. There were so many questions, so much going on. I'm glad we're done. I think all is well. But tomorrow, tomorrow, that scares me. And after a long day of packing, our customer is now gracefully passed on to your capable hands. As the driver, the Stevens professional van operator, you can reduce her apprehension. You are the face of our company, the lead for your crew and for your customer. You need a plan too, a routine you follow each and every time to ensure that you build confidence and rapport with the customer and keep control of the entire moving experience. You can't do that in a rush that morning. It takes time to get everything ready and to anticipate not only your material needs, but also the needs of your crew. You're in charge. You own this move. And remember, first impressions begin via phone when, 24 hours in advance, you set the stage with your customer by giving them a call to review the service instructions and the shipper expectation sheet given to you by your dispatcher, and just to assure them that you'll be there tomorrow. Make sure she has a realistic view of what the day will be like, and give her an arrival time that you know you can make with a clean, bright crew and a can-do attitude. Be sure to ask if she has any questions or concerns. And don't forget, your dispatcher is calling too and has told the customer you'll be calling. <laughs> now let's look at a typical move day through the eyes of our customer. Remember, they just spent days packing and being barraged by questions from the first part of the Stevens team, the packing crew. Now it's your turn to pick up any pieces and make another positive impression. Let's examine more ideas that you can use to make a positive impression and help our customer be a bit more comfortable during this stressful time. After all, we are the experts. You and your crew just need to demonstrate that professionalism and understanding to your customer right away to set them at ease. You and your crew pick up where the packing crew left off. We are one big Stevens team. And now is your time to shine. This is the day. I hope it goes well. We have so much stuff. I should have gotten rid of more. These guys don't look too bad. Clean. Nice looking uniforms. No grubby tennis shoes. No earbuds plugged in blocking their attention. And I like this lead guy too. He's in control. He really seems to know what he's doing. A nice follow-up from the packing team. I like it. Just like the packing day, the move day pre-walkthrough is an important way to begin with your customer. It cements that positive impression and gives you a chance to show you care about her concerns. And it gives you a chance to position yourself as the main contact for the day. You can explain that communications and updates are your responsibility. Take this time to show the customer that you're in charge of the crew, too. Ask first, then show them which bathroom to use. Look at your crew to ensure they are listening and understanding the move plan, like what is going and what is staying. 
Show care and respect for the customer and her home, and for your crew and their understanding. You are the leader. While walking through the house, be sure to point out any existing damage to the home, flooring, and furnishings. Use your smartphone or tablet to take a few pictures. You may need them later for claims resolution. You can explain this to our customer as a standard part of your careful pre-move review to ensure you and your team leave the home and property in the same condition as it is right now. Then take time to point out where we will add protection with the Home Protection Kit. Just like the packing crew, for the PVO and loading crew, the Stevens Home Protection Kit may be the most important part of your prep. It protects the home and shows we care. Oh good, the Home Protection Kit again. I sure don't want to leave any damage to this home. The new owners wouldn't like that. And when you use it, every time, you'll avoid damage and reduce claims. For about $300 per kit, it's worth it. And our furniture will be safer, too. That kit is a good thing. Again, to you, this may look normal, just a move underway. But through the eyes of your customer, it looks frightening. We are in the people business, so remember, it's not just about the move, it's about lives. Change can be scary and exciting and messy. Make sure your customer is okay. As the leader, check in with her often. Wow, this is really something. It's all happening right now. Our lives in transition, and all these people I hardly know are everywhere. I hope this was the right decision. Treat each customer as a person and their move as a special event in their lives. Reassure your customer and answer any questions throughout the day. As the leader today, you need to know when it's time to check in with your customer. It's okay. These guys know what they're doing. They do this every day. What a great team. Hmm, I wonder if they ever take breaks. Of course, you and your team need breaks. Remember, short smoke breaks, done outside, out of the customer's view, and only in the designated area, with no butts left behind as well as bathroom and lunch breaks are fine. And for longer breaks, just let your customer know. We've all been there. You're in the home, packing and loading are going well. Then you or the customer stumble on an issue, like a pool table or something else that isn't in the estimate. She's panicked, and this could escalate quickly. Don't let all of your hard work making that positive impression, managing your crew, and handling this move go to waste. As the leader here, on your move, take charge. Oh, nuts. When the pool table didn't sell, I knew we should have told the moving company, but I totally forgot until now. This thing weighs a ton. I remember when it was delivered. Ugh. This crew leader has really proved himself as a problem solver. I'm sure he can work this one out. It's not the end of the world. Tell her that. These things happen. Even though she thought she was selling that item, she didn't. And now it needs to get moved. Sure, it's frustrating to you, too. But make this adjustment smoothly. Reassure her that you're the leader for a reason. You're a problem solver. Then step aside out of earshot and call your dispatcher to do what has to be done. Don't place blame anywhere, but quickly resolve and move on. Well, the first part of the move is over, and you'll soon hit the road. But before you leave, be sure to do a final walkthrough with your customer to be sure of the cleanliness of the home, the condition of the structure itself, any items you may have overlooked, including any tools or equipment. Remember, how you leave the house will impress your customer and the realtor and the new homeowner. We need to always be thinking about future business. And now's also the time to thank the customer and assure her you'll take good care of all her personal belongings as they make their way to her new home. While you cannot promise an exact delivery date, you can review paperwork and the delivery spread. Give her your cell phone number and keep open communications during transit to her new home. Remember, we are in the people business. Sure, we move furniture and we drive trucks, 
but it's the people we service who decide if we're successful. Their viewpoint is what determines our success. And it all begins at origin. Remind your customer that within two weeks, she will be getting a post-move survey from Stevens and ask her for the positive feedback that you and your crew worked hard to earn today. This positive feedback doesn't just happen. It's a result of the positive impression made with your careful planning, crew management, good dispatcher partnerships, and professionalism. And it begins at origin. Our example covered pack day and move day. And, of course, the same positive impression and attention to detail is vital throughout the entire move. Melissa and her crew did an excellent job of packing my belongings. My china, my mirrors, my paintings, everything arrived safely. Driver and crew were very polite and meticulous about protecting my belongings. Everyone was so helpful. They were most efficient and thorough and did a splendid job. This entire process was easy and very low stress. Whenever I had a question, it was answered quickly and accurately. Everyone involved made a stressful time very easy and pleasant. Gabby Dawes was the driver and was on time, and the performance by him and the Seattle crew was fantastic. He communicated with me throughout the move and were here in Austin at the exact time they said they would be. John was awesome and made everything very clear on how the process would work and what to expect. I felt very comfortable to have my possessions moved across the country with Stevens. I'm Maury Stevens, and I'm glad you're part of the Stevens team. You make the positive first impression with our customers. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being part of the Stevens team. This has been another installment in the Stevens Online Training Library. Watch for our other instructional videos on these topics and more. Stevens would like the opportunity to earn your business. For a free quote and information on all of our relocation services, visit us at StevensWorldwide.com. Let Stevens show you the way to move.